Hello guys! Today let's draw together this liquid animation from start to finish. Step 1. Draw a smooth line where the movement will take place. The beginning and the end of the line go beyond the edges of the composition. Step 2. Make marks on the line. Why do we need them? This marking helps to control the speed of movement of our future wave. I want the wave to be slower at the beginning and at the end. To do this, we need to make more marks. And in the middle, there will be acceleration, so there are fewer marks there. Step 3. Set up everything for the animation. Go to Settings, and on the Canvas panel turn on Animation Assist. Then we set our line as a background. In the Layers panel, I apply transparency to this layer. Step 4. Create the first frame. Choose a color and draw a circle. To get the perfect shape, fix the pencil for a second and tap the screen simultaneously. Now all we need to do is take our circle and, through duplication, place it on the marks of the line, each circle on a separate frame. Let's speed up. I set the animation settings to frames per second at 12, onion skin opacity at 1. Preview. Step 5. Draw the tail to the circles. The tail should follow the line's curve and move behind the circle. The further we go, the thicker the line will become. Thus, we will achieve the effect of filling the composition. It is also important that each subsequent frame of the tail is slightly wider than the previous one. At the end, when the circle is already hidden behind the edge of the composition, I finish the animation by filling the tail throughout the entire composition. Preview. I think it looks smooth. Step 6. Add splashes to enhance the effect. The most obvious place to add splashes is where the line makes a turn. Our line makes four turns, so I add splashes to each of them. Move forward through the frames and gradually fade out the splashes. In this process, you can break the splashes into several small ones. Preview. By the way, you can already turn off the line path in the background. I do this through the Layers panel. Step 7. Now let's add splashes outside the line. On some frames I also add ovals. It is important to make sure that on the following frames the ovals move not only in the direction of movement forward, but also take into account that the wave grows not only in length but also in width. Step 8. Now let's fill our wave with colour. If when dragging the colour you have artefacts in the form of white pixels, when filling do not release the pencil and pull it to the right. At the same time I smooth out the shape of the wave somewhere to make sure that everything looks correct at the seams. You can also add a few completely filled frames at the end to create a small pause. It remains to adjust the shape of each frame after filling until the end. And the final preview. That's all for today. Let me know if you liked it or if it was interesting. Thanks and see you.